anyone recall this person will be on the Spider-Man today? Uh, can someone recall the first step to factoring x cubed minus 4x squared minus x plus 16? Tristan, first step, you have to have the real answer to get square in. Go ahead. Put it down the line. Okay, now from what we did is start with that. Well, this is just factoring by grouping again, okay? We just got common factors again. How do I know this is right? How do I, let's try again here. How did I know that I was wrong initially? Yeah, Marissa, how was I wrong initially? The brackets were not the same. That's what me as a teacher said I made a mistake, and that's fine. Alright, All right, Caitlin, what's the next step here, please? Go ahead. Um, the x squared minus 1 and then x squared minus 4. Okay, so I'll, yeah, I'll just score right there. So what we just did there, right, was we just factored them by grouping again, like what we do with the top. Right, the x minus 4 comes out and the x squared minus 1 is left. All right, Joseph, we are close to being done this wonderful graph, but not quite yet. What's the last step? <coughs> um, if you pick the x squared minus 1 and x minus 1 and x minus 1. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Square. Don't you know you don't have to worry about cubes. It's okay. Let's play it. Please slow down here. Don't think out if you didn't learn how to draw these cubics. This is called stretching your brain. That's all this is today. Okay. So all I did here first, stop for a week, please. All we did here was factor by grouping, right? We're okay on the idea there. Just guide line down the all common. Now, this part here isn't factoring cubics. That isn't this one here. What's this one, Robert? It's going to be. What is the squares? How do you factor x squared minus one? Right, Robert? Now, if you didn't learn that last year, that's fine. Okay, so I just want to make sure you do it this year. Grouping, <laughs> grouping is always a good way to start. Um, is there a comfy chair over there someplace? I'm pause for a sec. I got to stay in the zone here today. We got a lot to cover. Okay, yeah. bye. Okay, as far as this one goes, so this one says to graph this equation. We did this one last night, or last night being this weekend, without hopefully without too much difficulty. Um, can I get Matt to tell me what the roots are for this equation? Good. Okay. So what they said is, is did the book use order one, order two, order three? Is that what they used? Right on. Uh, something of order one just means a single root. Is uh, two. okay. So it's order one is just a single root. That's all they mean. Okay. <coughs> so order two would be a double root, and order three would be a triple root. Now I want to do this graph again just to so get an idea of how it's supposed to look. All right. Um, let's look at how we would get end behavior, okay? Is this one, Albert, going to be um, an even or an odd function? How do you know? How do you know? Good, okay. So this is going to be a negative even function. So somebody was asking me about this. Just let me just ask a question here, and then you guys can take it. The question was, um, people are always asking how I know if it's even or odd. All you care about is the leading term, remember? Okay, right? So that's all you care about. So what you're doing, you're imagining that you're just multiplying x times x squared is x cubed, times another x cubed is x to the sixth, and that's negative 3. So the first term is going to be negative 3x sixth. 
Okay, Robin, question. Okay. One more time. Uh, they use different terminologies than I do in the book. What I just consider is I'm talking about three of the first term. Okay. So they're talking about symmetry and all that sort of stuff. That's what they're talking about. Okay. Yep. So for things that are symmetric. <coughs> for me, I'm just wondering what energy is here. Trying to get from that. And that's what we're going to deal with. Right? Okay. Are we okay on where the first term came from? Because that's sort of a big deal um, in this course. Easy way to ask. All right. Box in. Yeah. Okay. With a negative even, please. With a negative even function, what's the end behavior from this going to be? Like the fifth of the x. Yeah. Hits infinity. Prints yeah. Away, goes towards infinity. Yeah. Um, y goes towards negative infinity. This x goes to negative y. Right. Remember that an even function is going to be like x squared. Okay, right, so x squared, x4, x6. So a negative x squared looks like this, so the end behavior is going to look the same. Are we feeling okay about this? Because this is sort of fundamentally important stuff <coughs> in this course. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so you can do it if you want to go Q3 to Q, Q3 to Q4, you can say that if you want to. Right? Those are both correct, right? Okay, I'm going to do this as a rough sketch. Okay, I'm going to do it on graph paper because I like graph paper. All right, but um, <coughs> this is going to be rough because I don't know extra points in here. Okay. Uh, now, please be brave. We have a nice, beautiful, small class. Do you know this has been the smallest academic class I've ever had in my life? Literally, like it's the smallest. Yes. Uh, normally, we have the whole back row. Uh, maybe half uh, is smaller. Uh, maybe half uh, is smaller. Uh, okay, right. But by small is not tax tax. So what that means is a nice, beautiful, small class. If there are questions that you have, please ask. Do not assume that the, okay, do not assume that what I say will go away. Do not assume that if I say something you don't get it, that just to ignore it and hopefully it won't matter. Because whatever you don't understand magically will be a fundamental thing for the course. Okay, and I'm not kidding. Okay, so if something isn't clear, please ask. Okay, um, I can't always cover everything in the class. I try my best, but with the homework, there might be a few little twisty things in there. So when you're going through your homework, if you're going through some of the questions that something isn't completely clear, please ask right away and we'll go through it, okay? <coughs> Thank you. Alright, um, so let's get this graphed up here. Line. Uh, what are we doing here? 2, 4, negative 3. Okay, um... Now I'd recommend doing your uh, graphs in pencil. Uh, Bailey and I were doing a graph this morning and I had to erase a little bit at the end because it didn't look good, right? So it's okay to do. The first thing I would do is end behavior. Actually, the first thing I'll try to do is my roots first. All right, Atlanta, roots are going to be where? Okay. Atlanta Waller, the end behavior is going to be, how, is it, how does the end behavior help you for this graph? Small as x goes to infinity, y goes to negative infinity, so y is going to be Good. So this one's going to bounce off, sort of like that, okay. And then the other one is going to Now I'm going to leave that in pencil because I may need to erase that depending on how the shape of the rest of the graph goes. Okay. Um, do you want to get a line or step too? Let's say I want, let me say, oh goodness, a y-intercept. Let's say I wanted to get a y-intercept. How would I quickly and easily find a y-intercept? Yeah, go ahead. Um, plug in 0 into your um, x value. Right on. So it's going to be negative 2 times 9 is negative 18 times, oh boy, 64. Yeah, that's a big number then, okay? So maybe I won't get that today because it's going to be an enormous number, okay? Pretty big, okay. pretty big. But then you could actually do that. The nice thing about scale, though, I could just plug that number in right here. Let's say the number is equal to positive 3486, whatever the number happens to be, and put it there. All right, so uh, x, we'll start with the right hand side. For x minus, for my negative 3 root, how do you draw a double root? Or a 2 root? 
Joseph, go ahead. Just like curve into it and just Okay, for okay, so for order two. I thought yeah, I thought this is like a parabola. I think this right. This one's like a parabola, I think, right? So this one, oh goodness. Ah, this is why I use a pencil. So this part right here is going to be parabolic, sort of, okay? Sort of down like that, that's order two. Okay. What is an order one root going to look like then? Straight through. So this one's going to curve down here someplace and come straight through, sort of like this. Okay? Now, here comes the tricky part. What does an order three root look like? Go ahead. It yeah, goes through with like a little curve thing. A little curve thing. Very good. Okay. So, this is a thing where you might need to use your pencil a little bit. It's going to look something like this. Oh, goodness. This is going to be bad before I get there. I'm just going to erase that, okay? But it's going to just have a little squiggle here at the end. Okay? So not straight through. Just make it obvious. Order three, five. I'm not going to be picky. As long as you make an intent, attempt to show me that it's not going straight through. Okay, just put a little S sort of thing there. Okay? Now, in calculus, we'll learn how to do the max, okay? Of, uh, we'll be able to find this max and this max. This max and that max. We're not going to be worried about that too much in this course. Okay, are we okay on that before I continue? And I'm assuming most people did close with number seven. Not yeah. everyone did? Okay, but almost everyone did, okay. Uh, number seven is a little bit of a challenge, so I'm going to go through some of these. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through one and give you guys some try that's similar. Okay, and we'll do it again here. So if I go over the TV right here. Okay, thank you. Okay, so this is page 39, number 7. All right, so this one, you have to go all the way back to 310 to solve this question, okay? Uh, 7A says, it's going to have, we want to find an equation and sketch a graph. Okay, so we're going to have a cubic with uh, zeros at Alright. So we're going to go all the way back uh, to we're going, to, we're going to sketch a graph, we're going to make an equation. Let's sketch the graph first, then we'll make the equation. Okay. This is going to be a very, very rough sketch. Okay, it's going to be cubic. Uh, I'm just going to do positive and negative again. Well, let's make the equation first. Let's make the equation. Okay. So if it's something has, I'm going to open the call this up to anybody right now. Okay. If something has a zero of negative two of order two, how do I make that look like in the equation? Alan, go. That would be y equals big bracket x plus 2 squared. Okay, good. You can stop right there. Lovely. Okay. So that's going to have a root of negative 2, right? And it's going to be of order 2. How do I make something with a 0 of positive 3? What's that going to be? Jesse, go ahead. That's fine. Okay. So the equation is going to look something like that, okay? Now, this is where we're going back to grade um, 10. I know Mr. Walsh, when he used to teach grade 10, he used to love these questions. Okay, he would do this to you all the time, okay, if you were in his class. What, if it says a y int of negative 9, what does that mean for this? And tell the two people in Mr. Walsh's class. Fox, go ahead. That the y intercepts negative 9. Thank you. Good. I need more than that, though. Go ahead. At x equals zero, it should be. Very good. So this point right here is going to be zero comma negative nine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the unknown a that we have to solve for. So like what Callum said there, Callum, like you said there, there's going to be an unknown. Yeah. So we have to solve for a. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Okay. Can someone other than one, two, and three, even though he sort of okay, give me the next, give me the next step for how I actually solve for a? What do I do? Somebody else. Sorry, Brian, you're out. Peter, you're out. Fox, and you're out. Joseph, you're in his class, too. Go ahead. Um, you can substitute the A and the Y and X. Good. So you're going to solve 9 or negative 9. 
equals a bracket 0 plus 2 squared 0 minus 3. Now please be brave and ask, because this is sort of a big thing for today. We're going to do this a few of these today to make sure we're good. Not are okay with what's happening here? Okay. Now I'd like to use the power of the calculator or your brain. What is 2 squared equal to, please? Good. And there we go. So I just did 0 plus 2 is 2, 2 squared is 4, and then negative 3. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. So A should be positive 3 quarters. Therefore, my equation. Now, why does that matter to us? Well, it matters to us for any behavior. The next part says the graph. Yeah, right? Did I make a mistake? Yeah, exactly. And we'll talk about that today with compression and all that stuff. Okay, but that'll give us then the exact equation of a little better. All those things are true. So I'm going to graph this right now. This is an odd function with um, a positive coefficient. What is a positive odd function and behavior going to be? Oh, stay awake, guys. Stay in the zone, guys. You need to be with me here. Go ahead. Um, the y intercept is okay, man. What? Okay. It better really be. I'm not going to do all this. Y intercept of y intercept of nine. Is that better, Sean? Yeah. Yeah, we're better here to work. <coughs> Thank you. Does that change the x plus 2? No, nothing else changes. The only thing that's going to change is c. Okay. So, anyway, now as far as the end behavior now. Is uh, q2 to q4 or as x <coughs> goes to infinity, y goes to negative infinity. If x goes to negative infinity, y goes to infinity. The way my graph's going to look very quickly is it's a nine, right? Okay, zero is at negative two, three. There's a graph. Yeah. It's just a stretch of what it's going to be. We're going to talk about those transformations today. That's pretty flexible. Okay, are we okay with the logic of this one before I move on too much? Work on the logic? Okay. I'm going to get you guys to try one more. Feeling good? No? All that food in your belly now should give you lots of energy to do this question. Yes? Okay, good. Um, you're going to do this one right here. This one if you're is going to be page 40 number 6 D I'll write it on the board. I want you to make an equation. Um, with uh, y int or four uh, triple root sorry order three root at um, negative two and a double or order two root. Okay, so I'd like to solve this one for me right now. I appreciate it. Pause in the video, you can do this. Oh, sorry.